In my previous videos, I have been leading up to what it takes to copy ratings from JPEGs to raw files in Darktable. The reason you might want to do this is if you have gone and done ratings for your JPEGs, like I did on this job, I shot in RAW and JPEG, not knowing what I know now, I separated them into two different directories, a JPEG directory where I gave them ratings, and a RAW directory where they're unrated. Now I need to transfer the ratings from the JPEGs to the RAWs. I'm going to show you how to do that with a smaller group of files in this directory. So let's bring Darktable open and we're going to import the JPEGs and rate them. If we go into the group test directory and bring in just the JPEGs, add them to the library, now I can go into the full screen preview mode and let's just rate this three, four, five, three, whoops, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. And if I hit escape and get back out of that, we can see that a bunch of them are rated, a bunch of them are unrated. If I sort by rating and make the highest rating rated ones go to the top. So we have four of each of the star ratings. We want to, I'm going to erase these from Darktable, control A, and we're going to remove these from the library. And in my directory, if I go to those JPEGs, I'm going to view these with details there. So there are my JPEGs, there are my, uh, my sidecar files with the ratings in them. So I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to move them over into the top level directory. So now we have our raw files, we have the JPEGs, and we have the sidecars. So if we come back and add to library and we add everything in that directory, right now the uh, grouping button is pressed that collapses the groups so you can only see the raw file group leaders. If I push that button, now it should expand open the um, groups, but now since they're sorted by rating, the JPEGs rise to the top. If I just sort these by file name instead, and from lowest to highest, there. So now we have the raw file, the JPEG, the raw file, the JPEG, and these are all in groups. If I collapse the groups, all the JPEGs are hidden and you can only see the raw files. If I expand back out again, we can see both. At this point, if I hit Control A to select all of them, I can select the new group leader to be the JPEGs. And when I hit Execute, now when I collapse these, you see the JPEGs at the front. And you can now sort by rating and all of the groups that have the five star rated JPEGs all rise to the top. So what should happen is if I select all of the five star pictures and I type the number five, it should assign the rating of five stars to everything that's in these four groups. So let's do that. If I hit five, now it doesn't look like that it has made any changes because you're only looking at the group leaders. But if I now expand the groups, you'll see that the first one, it has done that properly. And the last one, it did that properly. But there's some sort of a bug in Darktable where it doesn't do anything in between. It left the JPEGs at five stars, but it did not modify the, the raw files. And I don't know why it does that. If I hit Control Z, it will undo those ratings. So now you're looking at just the JPEGs. Let me show you how it's supposed to work on these lower level um, groups. So right now, let's say these four pictures, if I select them all, and right now neither of the pictures in this, in this group is rated. So if I click, uh, let's say two stars, now 
If I scroll up, there are now four pictures that are two stars. If I expand the group and I scroll down, it has properly rated the RAW file and the JPEG for all of the pictures that were in that, that selection um, to two stars. And that seems to work properly if neither of the two pictures already had a previous rating, but there's some sort of a bug where if one of the pictures is already rated for something, then it won't change anything in between the first uh, selection and the last selection that you clicked on. If you, you click and then you shift click, those are the ones that it does it to. The ones in between don't get changed. So I'm going to change these ones back by regrouping. Let's slide up to the two star pictures. If I click on this one and that one and I click zero, that should have changed them all back. Here are our fives, here are the fours, here are the threes, and it has changed all of the other pictures back to zeros. But for some reason, it doesn't work when you do it with groups that already have one thing selected. Let's do it again with the four star pictures. So if I enable the grouping function, we go to the four star pictures, we select them all, and we hit four stars, and then we ungroup. The first group now has the raw file changed, and the last group has the raw file changed, but the middle two do not. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that. So how do we fix this problem? Um, the way that we fix it is with another Lewis script. And if you go into Script Manager, and you go to page, this is the contrib um, group of scripts. You go to the last page, and there is one here called um, Rate Group. And we're gonna turn this on. So I click it, and it says Rate Group Started. And now I can, I'm gonna make that small. Um, so what that has done is it has enabled a hidden option that doesn't have any menu picks. If we go into our preferences and we go to shortcuts and you go to Lewis scripts, there are now options here for rating a group the same way that you would rate an, a single picture by pressing uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Um, now you can rate a group um, the same way. And, the, and so we need to assign shortcuts to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and then hit control zero. And that creates a shortcut for rating an entire group to zero. And I'm going to double click here and go control one, double click, control two, double click, control three, double click, control four, double click, control five. And I never use reject, so I don't even know what the button is for that. So I'm just not going to do it. Um, so now I should have shortcut keys for rating stuff in groups. And this one is interesting because you don't actually have to go through the group functionality to do this. So let me change this to file name, sort by file name from lowest to highest. And if I come up here, and the interesting thing here is that when I have, um, if, if I click on this JPEG right here and I click uh, two stars, let's say, it changes just this JPEG to two stars. And I'm gonna change it back to three. Um, I could do the same thing on the ARW file and change, so I could have different ratings for um, these two. So this is now two stars, this is now three stars. Let me change it back to zero. But if I click on this one and I hit control three, or no, I'm gonna hit control two, control two, it changes both of the members of the group. And I'm guessing that if you had even more, it would change all of the members of the group. And the interesting thing is, is it doesn't matter which of the two you click on. Um, if I click on this one on the raw file and hit control three, 
it changes them both to be three stars. Now if I click on this, the raw file, and hit it back to zero, it puts it back to zero. So it doesn't even matter if you have your groups collapsed or not. It doesn't matter if um, how you have things sorted. As long as you click on one of the members of the group and do the operation, it, it applies it to all of the members of the group. So now you can just look at the regular view with the, the raw files and the JPEGs shown. And if you sort these by rating, like this, and then make them from highest to lowest, so that the highest ones are up high. You, you see, I do not have the groups collapsed. If I select the five star pictures and I hit Control 5, it applies the five star ratings to all of the raw files that are associated with those particular JPEGs. And I'm going to do the same thing for the four stars. Control 4 and scroll down to the three stars and hit control three. So by using that Lua script, we don't even need to use all of the group manipulations that I've shown you how to do. That's how you can quickly copy star ratings from JPEGs over to the raw files without even needing to do groups. You just need to use that one Lua script which was rate group. So hopefully this will come in handy for some of the people that uh, I've seen uh, posting questions online about how to transfer star ratings from JPEG pictures to raw pictures when you have a raw plus JPEG um, workflow.